Greetings, you opportunistic scavengers. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and welcome to the Crack a Pack here on LRRMTG, where I'm joined by Surge. Hello. Hello. We're matching. Yeah, we decided to go with a dark red motif today. I don't know why. It's spooky out there, I guess. And it's spooky in here, in your collector booster, Surge. Please crack along. <laughs> crack, crack away. Crack, crack on into it. Watch me. Set. Is cracked? No. All right, our comments. We have a bashful beastie. Mm -hmm. Five mana, five, four, beast when it dies, manifest. If I do not refer to you, the viewers of crack -a pack as bashful beasties at some point in the future, I have forgotten that this card exists. Mm, bashful bestie, maybe? I don't know. Bashful besties. What's this do, sorry? Ma oh, right. Yeah. This is the new, this is manifest dread. Yeah. yeah. Which, I'm going to be honest, I should know all the mechanics at this point, but I have yet to write the judge script, so I don't. I have a vague idea, but don't test me. This one just seems much, much better than manifest. Have you seen this? I, yes, but no. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them onto the battlefield face down as a 2-2 and the other into your graveyard. That is just strictly better manifest. Yeah, you get to pick which one. You get selection, you get to put something in your bin. Which is upside. I know a lot of people are like, my graveyard, my cards. No, your graveyard is like a second hand. Sick. All right, next common, we have the Dagger Maw Megalodon. Megalodon. No, you were right the first time. I know. Dagger Maw Big Shark. Now, what I'm excited about is the basic land cycling cards are back. Oh. So this is a six mana five seven Vigilance Shark with Island Cycling 2. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we're going to be doing some multicolor nonsense. And also, I was going to say, uh, it's Island Cycle, not Basic Land Cycle, which means search for an island card, not a basic island card. It finds duels. It finds triumphs relevant to the latest sets. It finds the cheeky little surveil lands. So knowing that there is both that and a common cycle of dual lands of 10 duels tells me that there's going to be a lot of splashing. Yes. So anyways, I once again have to collect an entire set of land cyclers. Yeah, no kidding. I like these in uh, everything. Speaking of which, Spectral Snatcher, it's the black one. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Six mana, six, five spirit, ward, discard a card, swamp cycle. Oh, okay. Yep. Sweet. Speaking of which. What? Bedhead Bestie. It's a beastie. Six mana, five, six beast with menace and mountain cycle. I swear, if I get another one, I've got three in a row. Oh, the streak oh. is broken. <laughs> Curses. Darn, that's okay. So five, six menace. That's annoying to deal with. Yep. Six, five ward, discard a card, five, seven vigilance. Yeah, I love, this is my favorite flavor of land cycling, which is like, if you have one in your opening hand, you just sort of go, okay, well, I'm going to cycle that away on turn two. Yeah. But if you draw it late, you're like, oh, great, a big problem. If you have any form of reanimator in your deck, you get to land fix and then you're actually like ahead on your strategy, they offer so much flexibility and play pattern. You feel like this set, which by the way, has delirium as a returning mechanic and also manifest dread. You think that's gonna have ways to bring things back from the graveyard? Maybe, I don't know. The whole like haunted house reanimation thing. I don't, I don't think it fits. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Now, another thing I'm very excited about in this set is the return of enchantment creatures. Oh, you would be, right. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a long time enchantress player. We call it, uh, well, there's also an aggressive version now called Sanctum Stompy. Oh, right, Because yes. of all the bestow creatures and cheap threats and stuff like that. So I have a grasping long neck here. This is a three mana four, two enchantment creature for two and a green with reach. And when it dies, gain two life. Oh, okay, sweet. So it slices and it dices. Cause there's also, this is, I I've learned all of this today while recording these crack packs. Sure. There's a new mechanic that is basically, it's literally more constellation. Yep plus bonus if you yeah. happen to be playing rooms. But but really, it's also, for your purposes, yeah. for like Highlander, it's more Constellation. Yeah, so three things, yeah. Constellation, enchantment creatures, and rooms, which are also enchantments. And there's also a rare set of enchantment creatures that when they die, come back as enchantments as well. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of spicy. Okay. Look forward to potentially, no promises, a new uh, North 100 showdown mm. featuring me going 0 and 6 on Enchantress. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. We got another enchantment right here the Fear of Abduction. Ugh. This is a six mana, five, five enchantment creature nightmare for four white, white. As an additional cost, exile a creature you control, but it has flying 
As it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls, and when it leaves the battlefield, put each card exiled this way into its owner's hand. What was that Lorwyn mechanic? Champion? Yeah, it's kind of champion for sure. Yeah, because you have to exile the thing of your own, but then you get it back and they get it back and 5-5 five, five fly. Yeah, right. But like a 6-mana 5-5 five, five, and you have to champion a thing is a lot of hoops to go through. Yeah, but then you get to get rid of their thing. And you have a 5-mana, you have a 5-5 five, five flyer, yeah. so. Well, they don't come back into play. They go no, back, they go back, back their into their hand. hand. Yeah. Okay. And then, neat. then you counter them. Yeah. I'm medium on this card. I have Midnight Mayhem. It's a four mana sorcery for two, a red and a white. Create three one one red gremlin creature tokens. <laughs> then gremlins you control gain menace, lifelink, and haste until end of turn. No, oh, don't feed them after midnight. Yeah. We talked about this. So it's it's interesting. The menace, haste, and lifelink is a huge life swing, especially yeah. if you have a way to buff it and something like that. It's massive. And the set cares about little guys a little bit. But I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about that card. I'm curious. I'm curious to see if that's sort of just like a meh or if it's a ooh. If you right? have a way to give tokens even plus one plus oh. Oh, this yeah. Huge. Right? With any amount of support. Yeah. So we'll see. Huh. Right? That's okay. what I Okay. Yeah. Love the, I love the Gremlins reference. I'm actually really happy about this pack so far because this is a lot of the commons and uncommons I would normally be kind of on the fence about. But mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, now they're shiny. Mm. <laughs> Would you like to play a game? Not particularly. Oh, well then maybe I should put let's play a game aside. Oh. <laughs> it's a four mana sorcery for three and a black. Delirium, choose one. If there are four more cards amongst card types in your graveyard, choose one or more instead. Buh. Three modes. Mode the first, creatures your opponent control gets minus one, minus one. Mode the second, each opponent discards two cards. Mode the third, each opponent loses three life and you gain three life. Huh. Yeah. For, it's three and a black? Three and a black for four mana. Boy, you really want to do that with Delirium. You then. really want to do that in Commander. <laughs> oh, each opponent. <laughs> yeah, for both. Yeah. Oh, it's all... I thought it was a creature your opponent controls. No. It's all their creatures. Yeah. Get minus one, minus yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. kind of on the, I'm kind of on page like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm in for playing a game. All right. Oh, you got one more on. I have one more on common. Ooh, it's a crab. The scrabbling skull crab. Mm -hmm. Maybe something to call, you know, the viewers as yeah. well. One mana zero three crab skeleton. <laughs> uh huh. With eerie. Whenever an enchantment you control enters the battlefield and whenever you fully unlock a room, target player mills two cards. What have they done to my hedron crab? <laughs> We've given you another one. Well, I don't know how many enchantments you're going to be playing in, you know, in dedicated mill, but there's another mill crab. Yeah. Mill players rejoice. I mean, I guess the landfall one is still the best, but now there's a land one and a snow one and yeah. an enchantment one. Yeah. And what the land one was three. This is only two. I don't know why they made it only two cards. Like how many enchantments do they think you're going to have compared to lands? I don't know. Maybe it was too good. I wish. I <laughs> wish my crabs yeah. were too good. <laughs> All right. Rare now. It was it should, be, comments. should be a basic land next. Basic land. Wait, that was four uncommons. Okay. Yeah. So the land, you were correct. It's a forest. Ooh. Is it a scary forest? I think they're all vaguely scary. It's got like eyes and a silhouette. I don't know. I, I give it like a one. Out, I'm look. I'm a. I'm a horror wimp. I'd call that like one out of ten spoops. I would find this fairly spooky. There's eyes in all the plants, which I don't love. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, a giant entity observing everything from above. Now, for some of the lore, which is yeah. interesting, apparently the art direction for the lore they wanted it to be that if you ever left the house, you were just inside of a bigger house. And yeah, the that, house, there's no part of the plane that is not house. Yeah. Yeah. And so some of the art is if you are outside and you're looking and there's, I don't know exactly what it is, but there's a giant demon that is the house or something. Yeah. Does that, do you know, do you know the answer to this? Am I wrong? I don't know the answer, okay. but I understand most of what sure. you're talking about. Sure. Their name starts with a V and I'm being very careful in the pronunciation. Yes. I think it's Valgavoth. That's... Why the heck are you looking at me? <laughs> the, I don't know. Thank you, James. <laughs> Moving on. All right. What if this is the card the, that we can't pronounce? That would be very funny. Is oh, it? It's not. Okay. No, it's one of the ley lines, though. Do you know I, that ley lines are back? I legitimately did not. Really? Oh, I. This is the most I'm seeing of the set today. Hey, Graham, guess what? What? Ley lines are back. What? So if you don't know what ley lines are, they're a cycle of enchantments from Zendikar. 
I think I first encountered them in a core set, so I don't know. They're old, yeah. and they've been gone for a long time. What do you say about them? Uh, they had one that came back at a weird point, like they went off and said, anyways, it doesn't matter. Anyways, the ley line of mutation, mm -hmm. two green green. If they are in your opening hand, you get to start the game with them in play. You may pay Wooburg rather than pay the mana cost of spells that you cast. Okay. That's no, it. That's it. That's what it does. Okay. It replaces the, it gives an alternate casting cost for everything in your deck for Wooburg instead of not Wooburg. Okay. All right. Sure. All right. Next up. Ooh. Phenomena. Phenomena. <laughs> Phenomenon Investigators is a four mana three four human detective for two, a blue and a black. When it enters, choose believe or doubt. <laughs> if you're a believer, Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you get to create a 2-2 horror enchantment creature token. If you're a doubter, at the beginning of your end step, you may return a non-land permanent you own to your hand. If you do, draw a card. That's a lot to unpack. I don't know if it's good. The color saturation on this card is really weird. Wow, th that's some incredibly 1980s costuming. Right. Yeah, also they're wearing like a track suit and a headband and have flashlights. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. To, in case anyone's curious, this is from one of the commander decks. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, and that is an, that's a very interesting one. Don't turn around, you two. Okay, sure. There I don't know, I also don't know how to evaluate that, so I won't. behind you. All right, three cards remaining. Fear of Missing Out, AKA FOMO, is a two mana, two, three enchantment nightmare for one and a red. When it enters, discard a card and then draw a card and it has a delirium ability. Whenever fear of missing out attacks for the first time each turn, if there are four or more cards amongst cards in your graveyard, untap target creature. And then after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Wow. I like this card a lot. I think this card is cracked. This card is very good. I like to play a lot of, I mean, spoilers. I like to play a lot of single card um, formats, mm. in particular uh, Canadian Highlander, which you get to play with a little gem called Inti. Mm -hmm. which is a two mana two, two legendary one that also loves discarding cards and doing shenanigans like that. I think this card is going to see a home in quite a few of my decks. Also, the showcase art is by Cacho, I'm going to say Rubioni. I've never actually confirmed his last name, but uh, he gave us some lovely fan art at MagicCon. That is so cool. And now he's doing the, uh, now he's doing art on actual cards. So well, amazing. So cool. Yeah, he did the, the Amsterdam shirt as well. Something to notice about this frame too, it's not extended art, but in some parts at the border, the art is just spilling over. I like it a lot. It's yeah. kind of a cool little it's detail like coming there. coming out of the television. All right, two to go. Our next card is Marina Vendrell. Whomst? I don't know. They are a Wooburg for a legendary human warlock 3-5. When they enter, reveal the top seven cards of your library. Put all enchantment cards from amongst them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And then tap to lock or unlock a door of target room you control. Activate only as a sorcery. Why would you want to lock your own doors? I don't know, but what I do know is this card is stunning. Whoa. Yeah, oh, so that is a cool. extended art printing of it and the the butterfly overlaid with the person's face and just the all black as the background. That is a very pretty card. That's super cool. I guess you want to do that. You want to lock it so you can unlock it again. There are cards that care about oh, unlocking doors. Oh, interesting, especially Jeez. if you have the ability to tap and untap stuff. The ghosts are like, what are you doing? And you're like, what? I'm just <laughs> I'm twiddling the yeah. knobs. And good news. If you have a ley line in play, you can cast it for Wooburg. <laughs> I'm helping. Broken this whole thing wide open. And the final card in my pack da -da -da. is the Omnivorous Flytrap. Oh, no. Now, this is a foil of the showcase frame. So it's a three mana, two, four plant for two and a green. It has delirium. Whenever it enters or attacks, if there are four or more card types amongst cards in your graveyard, distribute two plus one plus one counters amongst one or two target creatures. Then if there are six or more card types amongst card types in your graveyard, double the number of plus one plus one counters on those creatures. Ooh, six or more. Yes. Is this a Little Shop of Horrors reference? Oh, good I don't, question. I don't think it's reflected mechanically. I'm just like, what other giant omnivorous fly traps can yeah. I think of? Do we have like the flavor text saying, feed me, Seymour, feed no. me? There's maybe on the regular version. Feed me. All right. If we're drafting this pack, yeah. it's either the omnivorous fly trap or fear of missing out. I think these are both stronger than 
the vanilla curve. They mm -hmm. have cool upside. And uh, I mean, probably the omnivorous flytrap slightly ahead. Aren't you concerned that fear of missing out won't wheel? It's sad it wouldn't come back. You, that I'd miss out on it in my deck. You'll miss out. Yeah. You got your one chance. No, I agree with you. I think the fly trap's pretty sweet. Anything else you'd be excited about in this pack? I mean, yes, but I, I agree with you on your first pick. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm not going to... I'm not first picking Wooburg in draft, but uh, Marina seems fun. But, you know, maybe like late in the thing. With, with all these land cyclers and yeah. that cycle of... Uh, lands and you mentioned the mana rocks as well uh, marina doesn't seem outside the realm of possibility that's going to do it for this episode of the crack a pack uh thanks to you for watching and for supporting our show on patreon.com slash loading ready run or by becoming a member on this youtube channel for those watching on this youtube channel until next time i've been graham joined by surge what up <laughs> james has been on tech matt edits these heather gets them online thank you all so much for watching see you next time burgundy bros yeah